All right, I was looking through my CDs to start pulling out any death metal CD that I thought was worth talking about. And I'll make a bunch of these, but this is the first one. Some new, some old, some classic, some just okay. So my first one here is 1994's Fear, Emptiness, Despair by Napalm Death. This was part of the ERA Columbia deal, so it was on a major label. And I had a bunch of these albums just because they were in stores. You can get them from Columbia House. They were cheap. Easy to find. It'll always be a little bit special to me because this is probably one of the first three extreme metal albums I ever got. This one, Chaos AD by Sepultura, and one other one that I'll get to on a different video. Fear and Piss Despair is probably the beginning of the era that most fans aren't really fond of. People thought this was okay, but that the next maybe four weren't very good. But I have one of those inside the Torn Apart. I've always had a soft spot for this one. Just uh, I remember I gave my mom a big list of CDs for ideas for Christmas gifts when I was like 14 or something. And of all things, she bought Napalm Death and some other ones. So no, that was kind of cool. And although this isn't a great album, when I think of Napalm Death, I automatically have these songs in my head. It's just kind of how I came up. Let's get with some uh, newer stuff. This is Impestuous Ritual. This is their third full length, I think. It's hard to read. It's hard to see the title, but it's called Blight something or other. And they have a reputation as a portal side project, a band from Brisbane, Australia. But that's not really fair because the members of Portal that are in this band, they were in this band before Portal. But they also have a lot of things in common, just mysterious, dark, suffocating, extreme death metal. This album, uh, over the last several years, has gotten a lot of hype. This is Spectral Voice. Uh, what's the title of this one? Eroded Corridors of Unbeing on Dark Descent. And this is known as a side project of Blood Incantation, where it's the majority of the lineup, except for, I think, the drummer. And they have a different drummer who also handles vocals on here. And I saw Spectral Voice live once. They were opening for a Primitive Man. And I wasn't very familiar with either band. I just hadn't seen the show in a long time, and I wanted to go. It was a great show. I just remember the drummer just... They, you know, they lit a couple candles and just to kill all the lights, kill every light in here. And they pretty much did. You know, it's a really cool vibe. This is one of my favorite death metal albums of the last decade, I'd say. I listen to it all the time. Caustic Wound, Death Posture. This came out on Profound Lore maybe three years ago. Grindcore Death Metal. Nothing too original, but very well done. Let's take a step back in time. Possessed, Seven Churches. One of the, maybe the first death metal album. We don't need to get into all that. What's my favorite song on here? Holy Hell and The Exorcist. Necros Christos, Triune Impurity Rites. This is an older album by them on Sepulchral Voice Records. This is a German death metal band. Mysterious, mystical, very occult influenced. And they've been broken up now. A lot of interludes between every song, but they're effective in their own right. And this is an older album by them, but I listened to a couple of the more recent ones and, and they're cool too. I need a couple more CDs by them. Back in time again, Death, Spiritual Healing. Classic album. I guess my only complaint with this is that when it comes to death metal, I really don't like uh, lyrics about societal issues or reality or politics. Not that there's politics on here, really, but somewhat. It's just about 
a lot of it's both social issues, and you can understand Chuck's voice, and it takes me out of it a bit. I prefer the Scream Bloody Gore vibe, but another classic album. How can you deny it? And my final two will be the same band. That is Innumerable Forms, another recent death metal band that's really uh, kept me listening. Kind of an addictive band. They just death metal, but very extreme, but contrasted with doomy parts. I thought this first one, Punishment in Flesh, was great, but the one that just came out this year, um, Philosophical Collapse, I think this one was a was a real killer. Great album artwork. And I listened to this one for a week straight, nothing else when I first got it. So that's it, 10 random death metal CDs in my collection, and I'll make a couple more of these at least. Thanks for watching, bye.